Uh, now, Head of Payment Systems at the Bank of uh, Ghana, Dr. Seto Amedika, has also downplayed predictions from a section of the public that mobile money will soon replace regular banking. Speaking at the same event on the theme Mobile Economy in Ghana, Challenges and Prospects, Dr. Amedika stated that mobile money is just complementing mainstream banking. This some notion that mobile money can come and replace banking. No. There's no way mobile money can replace banking. There are a lot of activities of banking mobile money can never, never do. <laughs> mobile money cannot do letters of credit. Even currently, as we are speaking now, mobile money cannot grant you loan more than 5,000 50 pesos. There is a limit on mobile money. The maximum is 5,000. We know where we put threshold on mobile money. So that notion, some might think that mobile money is to come and replace banking. Mobile money is just complementing banking where banking fell short off. So if there's no way mobile money can take over banking. If you want to do banking business, you must go to the central bank and get a banking license. So I want that point to be clear. Dr. Amedeka also stated that the new Ghana card is a solution to fraud in the mobile money space. I believe the national card is going to be a game changer. So if you have the opportunity to obtain your national card, I will encourage everybody to go for the national card. I have got mine. For example, the national card, if uh, there's going to be SIM re registration, that is what we understood from the National Communication Authority, after everybody has got the national card. So all the fraud issue my brother was talking about, the national card is going to kill it. Because in Ghana we have uh, multiple identifiers, so it's very difficult to uh, really establish people who are involved in fraud.